Hello, I am Amber Miller, Associate State Director with AARP Wisconsin, and thank you for joining us today as September is Falls Prevention Month. Today, our guest speaker is Tabaria Smith, who is a pharmacist with Walgreens. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. And um, so what, um, what do medications or the number of medications have to do with falls? So typically what we'll see is that um, medications can cause lightheadedness, dizziness, instability. And so certain medicines we have to watch what people are on so that we don't increase the risk of uh, having that, that, that fall risk because the medicines are causing a lot of side effects or symptoms associated with it. And so as we add more and more medications on top of that, we increase that potential risk for happening. So one medication may do it by itself, but if we have three medications that may help treat, say, anxiety or, you know, um, or something that helps with sleeping, certainly we can increase the risk by adding more and more medications on top. So it is extremely important to watch what we're using um, and try to use as minimal amount of medications to get to the point that we're looking for to hopefully decrease some of those instability type responses that we can see. Absolutely. And what kind um, what kinds of medications increase a person's uh, risk for falling? So I would really target things that we call benzodiazepines. Those are in a classification that we will use to help treat anxiety, sometimes some depression, um, mild cases. Um, other things with sleep aids are really, really big things to kind of watch for. There's lots of people that have sleeping problems and, and uh, inabilities. And, and so we'll add sleeping meds on top of there. Um, so those would be probably my, my two first categories that I would target would be sleeping medicines and things that we use to help treat anxiety. But certainly we also look into things like blood pressure medicines because even some of those can cause some instability and lightheadedness. I get patients with shortness of breath often with those, and that is also associated with lightheadedness. And obviously, you're short of breath, you get lightheaded, you can fall. So um, so we look at a lot of those different classifications or different medications that potentially will cause that issue. So um, again, we look at it from a compounded type aspect. Um, you know, We may have three or four medications on board that will treat different things, but when we add them all together, we get this additive benefit or benefit from relief of the symptoms, but also risk of side effects which typically in this case would be risk of falls being increased. And what can a pharmacist do to help an older adult understand the, the impact that their medications could have on possibly falling? So what most of us do every single day is really just talk to people. So when you're with your pharmacist and I talk to patients all day long, um, asking and the right questions, hey, what will this do to me? How will I feel? Um, will this increase my risk? Something that I observe, I watch for is if I have patients that come in in walkers and wheelchairs, and I certainly try to tailor the consult based on what I see happening around me. Um, even if you don't disclose that information, we know that there's some level of instability that we need to kind of take into consideration. So if I give you a medication, for instance, to help treat the anxiety or depression or your blood pressure, and I see you in a wheelchair, there's certain things that I need to make sure I kind of zone in on to make sure that you are um, being safe, um, you are getting uh, the right information that will, will affect you and you only, hopefully. Um, and so that's one piece. The other part is your pharmacist is really your resource. Um, if you get home and something does not seem correct or unusual, absolutely call that pharmacist or speak to that person individually. Um, and we're more than willing to provide that information to help support you um, feeling better, but also understanding what's happening. So we're an absolute uh, medical resource for you um, that's extremely accessible. You know, I work in a Walgreens store um, and therefore, you know, I'm here, you know, eight, nine hours a day. Um, and then there's other pharmacists that are here as well at all our stores where they could also help provide that information and support that you would need to help stay safe. And so to me, definitely having a good relationship with your pharmacist would be a really good idea, especially to build that relationship so you can have those candid conversations. It makes it a lot easier for all of us. You reduce your, you have an increased comfort as a patient, the more um, information or the more comfortable you are with the regularity of that pharmacist. And it's also very nice for us to get to know our patients a little bit better because, you know, you may come in, uh, to visit us, pick up your prescriptions, and we may not know that anything is wrong. And then all of a sudden you ask that one question, um, hey, by the way, I need to know, last week I took this and I felt 
unusual. I felt lightheaded or dizzy or whatever the situation may be, but we're very willing to to do that. And so hopefully breaks down the, that kind of that barrier and that wall, creates a level of comfort for you as the patient to be able to say, hey, I can go talk to my pharmacist. I feel comfortable. I trust what they say. They're going to give me the right information to help me be safe and 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 hopefully move on to the to the next stage of what I'm looking for. So great. Well, thank you, Tobias. We know you're a very busy man in the pharmacy world. So we yeah. want to thank you so much for for joining us today. And you gave very great information. And um, so thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me very Absolutely. much. And if you're watching this video, please make sure to tag your loved ones, your family, your friends in this, and especially if they have questions related to their medications and how that can help prevent their falls. And also feel free to share this video on your social media. We want to thank you all for joining us today and be safe.